Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Wednesday, July 27th, 2016, around 6.58 in the evening in Berwicka, Massachusetts. It's a very warm day out, humid. It's about 90 degrees. And tomorrow could end the heat wave. One more day of 90 degrees. And then could be widespread rain on Friday because of a cool front. Weekend looks great low humidity but the humidity will be back by the middle to late part of next week this is probably the hottest week of the year and we probably peaked out on it some news to report Detroit Tigers beat the Boston Red Sox by a score of 4-3 to three. the Tigers swept the Red Sox in three straight games and also the LA Clippers are look uh, exploring a, a new arena. Their lease uh, with the Staples Center doesn't expire until 20, 20, um, 23, 20, 2024 season, but they want their own arena because they're stuck as a number th um, three team in the Staples Center. They have to share it with the Lakers and the Canes, and they get probably not too, too um, third priority on dates. And also, the LA Clippers are on the verge of re upping with Fox Sports West prime ticket for a new television deal, which expired at the end of last month. And sad news to report to. to passings to tell you. First is um, cartoonist Jack Davis. He passed away at the age of 91. He was famous for doing a lot of artwork in Mad Magazine and the care um, keeper of the famous parquet floor at the TV Garden Rudolph Spider Edwards passed away at he was in his mid 80s so prayers to both of their families in this time of need and that's about it on the news my third and final video blog subject of the night is about MBTA commuter rail line the Greenbush line which goes from South Station to Greenbush in Situate in the South Shore of Boston, Massachusetts, for many, many years, this was an active rail service back in the, in the mid-19th century. It brought service to the South Shore. It was one-time double track. It was run by the New Haven Railroad. But over time, the maintenance of these rail Low tracks weren't kept up to date, and plus the opening of the Southeast Expressway and Route 3 in the South Shore to um, Cape Cod made the this um, railroad line obsolete. The last passenger rail service for the Greenbush line was served in 1959, but they used it just for freight trains into the mid-70s where they stopped doing it because the track was just, you know, destroyed and the trains were only going 10 miles per hour. But there was a push to get um, commuter rail service um, re restored to the Greenbush line in the 1980s along with the old Colony Railroad Line, which went to Middleborough and Kingston and Plymouth. And the tie-up was the Big Dig Project was 
going on. It was costing millions and millions of dollars. And the MBTA had to do the prioritize of which one was the important one. It was the Middleborough Lake Lynn and the and uh, Plymouth Kingston lines of the old colony railroad line and Green Bush was put on the back burner on those commuter railroad lines for um, Plymouth and Kingston and Middleborough Lakeville opened in 1997 but Green Bush was pushed back many many years because they had to negotiate with the um, the owners of property which they they built houses very close to the abandoned tracks and they had to buy the the homeowners out because if you buy uh, a house or property on an abandoned railroad line then you're taking a risk because at any time the, the railroad has the right of way in case if they want to reactivate that train service they could take that property back from you from eminent domain and also they had some you know problems with some cities and towns on this line especially in Hingham because part of the, the proposed line was going to cut through the historic downtown section of um, Hingham so they had a built an underground tunnel so they wouldn't destroy the um, downtown area of Hingham and they construct they started the construction in 2001 they finished it by 2007 and the main and this line opened on October 30th 2007 it was proposed to get about 5,000 cars off of the Southeast Expressway and Route 3. And the train line starts at Boston South Station and it goes over the Four Point Channel. And then it parallels the red line. It stops at JFK UMass, which is a John F. Kennedy um, uh, Museum in UMass. Um, UMass Boston campus plus Columbia Point, which is now City Point. And it kind of runs parallel to the red line. And it goes under, underneath Route 93 and 3. The Southeast Expressway continues on to get to Quincy Center. And then they t- take a, a, a branch off of the old Colony Railroad lines, which goes to Plymouth and Kingston and Middleborough Lake um, Ville. It continues on in from like Quincy. Its first stop is Weymouth Landing East um, Braintree and it continues on to East Weymouth and then continues into um, Hainham then West Hainham. They go under Underneath a tunnel down to in downtown Hingham, and it reaches the next stop is Nantastic Junction on uh, on the on the Greenbush line. There was at one time a spur, uh, like a, a spur that would go to Nantastic Beach on this um, railroad line back years and years ago. It's abandoned now. Plus, there was another a be, a, another spur that would go into the Hainham ship docks. And it continues on, goes into Cohasset, has a Cohasset station, and then goes into Situet, North Situet, and it terminates at Greenbush. And usually at Greenbush, it's, it's a single track, the entire route, and they and they have a big parking lot in Greenbush, which is for uh, commuters from Situate, Norwell, Hanover, and Duxbury because they don't have commuter rail service. And this, the Greenbush line has approximately five thousand four hundred and one eleven um, daily passengers, and it w- w- runs. 
12 times a day and 8 times during Saturdays and Sundays because it's just a single track. And weekend service was temporarily disrupted in July of 2012 due to some budget cuts from the MBTA. They had to cut out a few um, commuter rail lines on the weekends, but it got reinstated for weekend service in 2014. And that's about it on the Greenbush line. I'll be back tomorrow, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with three more video blogs coming to for you. First video blog will be about the top 10 people that should have joined the corporation, uh, which was run by Mr. McMahon in the WWE around the 1998-1999 time period. Second video blog will be about the former TV game show Lime and the Reason hosted by Bob Eubanks. And the third and final video blog of the night is my take on tattoos and piercings. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rose Blood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy is so cool. Linda Church is such a cool girl and she's got nice legs. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.